as you saw, we just came back from a walk. Today is Saturday. I wanted to come on here um, and show y'all the shoes that I got. I bought some coat shoes. I um, saw them on like a, y'all know how they do the ads on Instagram? Saw that and I was like, oh, I gotta have these. So I'm gonna do an unboxing with y'all. I gotta hurry up because I gotta go to Target and do my pickup order. Let me scoot y'all back. So there we go. Um, I gotta go to Target and do my pickup, get my pickup order because it's a shirt that I wanna wear today with these shoes. Y'all saw I did a little half up, half down. This is a half week. I don't know if I'm gonna wear it today. Uh, we are going to the food festival later. It's a food festival here in Dallas. And we are going to that. It starts at 2. So I want to get there before the crowd. It's from 2 to 10. So we're going to open this together. Actually, y'all, I already opened it. I just want to unbox it with y'all again. <laughs> so. It's so beautiful. <laughs> like just seeing the symbol is just so cute. Okay, so. I got them. I don't know why I'm whispering. I got them in a size nine. I usually wear eight, but I went through the reviews and everybody was saying, was saying that they run small. And the website also said they run small. People who wore eight said they got a nine and they fit perfect. So when I put it on, my heel is like right here. And then my toe is like right here. So I probably got like a half a size that I could have went down in, but they don't come in half sizes. So if I would have got an eight, they probably would have been too small. But yeah, they're so cute, y'all. How y'all like them? How y'all like them? This is my first designer shoe. Like, it, it's low luxury, but it's luxury, okay? Coach is definitely a luxury. <laughs> these are so cute. I love them. So, I'm going to wear these today. And let's see. I'm going to wear them with this oversized. Not a, it's like an oversized crop top and like some boyfriend jeans. And then this and then a purse. I want to get a purse that matches it but i seen one on sheen but i ain't got time like these came yesterday sheen take two weeks to come here so i'm about to go ahead and run a target pick up my order come back get ready it's hot <sighs> come back get ready and then we're gonna go to the food festival y'all gonna come with us okay so here's the fit we're about to get ready to go to the um food fest food fest got the shoes on y'all see what i was talking about when i was like got that much space left but Here's the fit, so cute. Mm -hmm. And then I put my, well I redid this. Put plenty of bobby pins in it cause it's a windy day. And hopefully the wind don't do me dirty, but. Cute. All right y'all, so we're here. This wind is doing me dirty. Um, Put my thing back in. Push my mirror back in. They ain't sitting up here breaking in people's cars. It's glass on the ground right here. It's glass on the ground over there. I don't like that. Did you pay? Oh my gosh, it's glass right there. This parking lot ain't safe. What if it wasn't? Okay, so we're here. I can record right now because this is not the original song. But I'm hungry, so let's find something to eat. They got vendors. Um, oh, he needs some pho. Where he get that fur from? Let's go find some food, y'all.
so those nachos was what you ready? I'll give it an eight out of ten. That brisket sandwich, about a seven and a half out of ten. I say eight. I want to go right here and get some catfish, but look how long that line is. No, thank you. And it's hot. What the rest of the pizza? Is? What the heck? What's the heck? That's nasty. I love pizza. Pizza my favorite food, and this is disgusting. Zero out of ten. What you think? What's your rating? One out of ten. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so I went to this cookie place. It's called Cookie Plug. This is a sugar cookie. And then I got a, a lemonade. It come in a baby bottle. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we have left the uh, food fest. I'll tell y'all, give y'all a review on it later. But we are in Home Goods because I was, uh, we were next door. I haven't been in here in a minute. Let's see what they got. It's a dog carrier, a dog stroller. <laughs> How much is this? $100. This is so cute. If I had a dog, I would get it. That's cute. Okay. Where Reebok start making pillows, though? This is, babe, feel this. This feel good. A two pack for $25. I already bought me a neck pillow. I was trying to help you out. It's like this thick. That's one. That's how I got mine. Oh, this on me. That's two. You know what I'm saying? The, the width of it is wide. They're like a king pillow or something. Okay, so we are actually at, where we at? We went to this place called Concrete Cowboy. He <laughs> said the garage. <laughs> we walk into the car so Chris can get something right quick. But we went to this place called Concrete Cowboy. It's like a little bar. They play music. That's why I ain't pull my phone out. But now we're about to go to Sidecar Social. It's another little bar and lounge type place. See what they doing. We don't want to go home. Like it's boring now. Okay, so we came over here to the field, the mock field here in Frisco. It's really nice out here. We've been out here a minute. Took some pictures. Sun done went down now, but I thought they were supposed to be playing something on the big screen. They had like a little cheerleader thing uh, going on, a little cheer competition thing going on. Honestly, my cousin was out here. I seen it on her page, but by the time we got here, she was gone. I could have messaged her. But, um, yeah, we just sitting out here chilling. I don't know what we about to do next. Shoes looking cute. Period. So, we back home. Stopped at uh, H-E-B so I can get me some more of my favorite ice cream. It's a Lenti Caramel Cookie Crunch. And Chris got him a cake. Let me see. Uh, what's this called? White cake slice with French buttercream. It looks so moist. Good morning, y'all. It's the next day. Um, I don't really have nothing planned for today, but I want to come on here and give y'all a review of that food festival. First things first, y'all, our allergies tore us up. We had to leave. <laughs> Chris was sneezing back to back. I was sneezing, but not as much as him. My eyes start like itching and then you scratch your eyes too much. They're so dry, they start to get sore. My eyes are dry now. Like every time I have like a flare up, the next morning my eyes will be dry like around them and still a little sore to touch them. Contacts was dry. We was, we was toe up. We was toe up. We took allergy pills <laughs> and we was still toe up. But honestly, the festival was a good six out of 10. They definitely oversold tickets. It was way too many people there. It was way too many people there. The people weren't the issue. The problem was being able to taste the food, like get in line for everything. Every line was about two hours long. And luckily, when we got there, we I, it started from it started at two. It ends at ten. It ended at started at two. Ends at ten. <laughs> um, and my idea was let's get there because I feel like it's Saturday. It's a beautiful day. I feel like everybody's probably gonna get there at seven o'clock. So let's get there right when it starts at two. That way we can beat the crowd. No, baby, it seemed like everybody had kids, had the same idea that we had, because it was a lot of kids there. Uh, people had strollers, they did have their chairs and their blankets rolled out on the ground. But every line, like I wanted to try some uh, this tea place, like they had all different kinds of teas. I love tea. The line was literally almost, well, 
I can't even tell y'all. Y'all wouldn't know what I'm talking about. The line was about an hour long just to get some tea. I'm like, I'm not standing in line for an hour to get some tea. So me and Chris had to split up to go get the food that y'all saw that we got. Those were the only two things that we got in that cookie. That lemonade in that little baby bottle was nasty. It, was, well, it wasn't nasty. It just says like Kool-Aid. I threw it away. I was like, I can't. It was too sweet. Like, I'm outside in the heat, baby. This is way too sweet. Threw it away. I didn't like it. I drank like half of it. Uh, that cookie that I had, I only ate the edges because it was crunchy. It was not done in the middle. Like, it was way too gummy in the middle. I'm like, and she was raving. Like, our cookies are the best cookies. Oh, my girl, this cookie is nasty. Um, but, yeah, we didn't really get a chance to actually enjoy the festival because there was way too many people there. Like, they should have limited how many tickets they sold. Like, you should have, they should have did, like, slots. Like, in this time slot from 2 to 4, we're going to sell this many tickets. And then from 4 to 6, we're going to sell this many tickets. And then from 6 to 10, we'll sell it. Like, it just wasn't organized. It was, they only had one game, which was cornhole. And only two people can play that. They said that they was going to have games. I'm like, all I see is cornhole. Um, they did have a band playing, like, different type of music and stuff. That was cool. But other than that... We didn't really get to try anything but the nachos and the brisket sandwich. And I'm like, I want to try stuff that I've never had before. So, I mean, it was cool. We won't go back. It was just something to experience. The tickets to get in were only $6 a piece. Like, it was only $6 per person to get in. Your, the food is what you're really paying for in the parking. But um, it was it was okay. But today, I don't really have anything planned. I probably take Chris some lunch. We're probably going to eat lunch together. I'm going to go... He said he want pizza, so I'll go get pizza. And we'll just probably eat lunch together. But I don't really have nothing planned. I want to go, like, to Marshall's. I might, I actually, I might go, like, to Marshall's or um, Home Goods or something like that. I don't know. I kind of just want to browse around and see. I don't need nothing. I don't need nothing. The house is fully decorated. I do want some more T-shirts, though, for the summertime. So, I don't know. We'll see where the wind takes us. Thank you. All right, y'all. So I got the pizza. I got us some wings too, like some boneless wings. There's the pizza. I have chicken, half beef. So about to eat on this. I don't know where he at. He coming out, but um, about to eat on this and go back home. All right, so I'm back home. Um, I was gonna go to like Home Goods or something, but y'all, I really don't feel like it. It's Sunday. I'm about to chill. Plus, when we were eating our pizza in the car. Chris noticed that my freaking forehead was breaking out. And I was like, oh, no. Like, I don't know if y'all can tell. It's like little bitty bumps. You can see it. Yeah. So I came home and did a facial treatment. That's why my face looks so, like, red. <laughs> I came and did, not a facial treatment, but I came and washed my face with some CeraVe and witch hazel and then put some aquifer on it. So I'm very freaking oily right now. But, yeah, no. Like, what's going on? I don't like that. That's not normal. Y'all see that? It's going all the way across. I don't know what that's about. So hopefully the aquifer clears it up. I'm about to put my rice toner on the other parts of my face that is not breaking out. Y'all remember this that I showed y'all? I am almost out. Well, not almost, it's halfway. So I'm about to put this on the other parts of my face. And then I'm pretty much about to close the vlog. I'm gonna go ahead and edit it today. Um, I'm gonna go eat my ice cream that I bought last night, my caramel cookie crunch. And I'm about to just chill. Like, I don't really feel like doing anything. Like, today is just a relax, sit on TikTok, watch Martha's Vineyard, because it comes out tonight, watch the third part of Potomac Housewives Reunion, and just chill. Like, I don't feel like doing nothing. So, I will talk to y'all next video. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Ooh, my lips dry. <laughs> Bye!